Tori wrote this, huh? Yep. Said he tried to get it out just in time for today's trial. Illegal human experiments discovered in Kamurocho. Dementia drug AD9, the focus. These pictures. I took them when we broke into Shono's lab. <laughs> nice work. Guess it's almost time. Time. Give him hell in there. I will. Matsugani-san deserves justice. Yeesh. Don't think I'm ever gonna get used to seeing you in a suit. <laughs> That's all you have to say to me? This is kind of a big deal, remember? Are they gonna set Okubo free if you win this trial? It's not guaranteed. But if not today... I'll make it happen eventually, even if it costs me my life. Good luck today, Yagami-san. I'll be taking notes. I don't know. This trial might not be the most textbook case. <laughs> That's exactly why it'll be an educational experience. Defendant, please state your name and date of birth for the record. Kazuya Ayabe, born on July 2nd, 1983. And where are you currently residing? This is the first trial for the murder of Masamichi Shintani. Defendant, a crooked cop by the name of Kazuya Ayabe. The bullet found in Shintani's body bore the rifling marks from Ayabe's gun. That's the most significant piece of evidence they have against him. But that was all a cover-up perpetrated by the mole, Kuroiwa. Ayabe is innocent. In other words, this trial is little more than a farce. At least, until this very moment. The prosecution moves to call a witness to the stand. Someone who can deny this case's link to the ADDC. The Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health, Kaoru Ichinose. The ADDC bears most of the responsibilities carried out by the Medical Institute. Most notably, the development of AD9, which was announced to the world last year. Director Kido has done a fine job overseeing its evolution into a matter of national import. Can you tell the court what exactly AD9 is? It's a revolutionary drug meant to be a complete cure for Alzheimer's disease. Given how pressing the drastic increase in dementia patients is, We've placed great faith and hope into AD9. Thank you. I have no further questions. Members of the jury, despite the defense's claims that the ADDC is somehow related to this case, the prosecution holds that it is an absurdity to link such a reputable institution to the horrible murder that took place not long ago. That is all. You may begin the cross-examination, counsel.
You're the vice minister of the Ministry of Health, correct? Pretty high rank. That is what the title implies, yes. You must have really stood out to attain that position. Maybe you did something extra special that got you noticed? I'm not sure how this is relevant to the case at hand. Oh, come now. Why not indulge him? What? Think back to 2002, the year the Medical Institute was founded. I hear you spearheaded that whole operation. As a result, many new organizations came into being, the ADDC included. Naturally, many Ministry of Health officials welcomed this move because... You made numerous new positions for senior executives to retire into. Thanks to you, they'd have a stable income well into old age. Is this really the place to be discussing such accusations? This center, that lab, who cares what hospital? Consultancy positions sprung up for those facilities left and right. And who better to fill them than former Ministry of Health execs? They'd never have to worry about finding employment again. It was a crafty move, Ichinose-san. One I'm sure the Ministry leadership loved you for. I can see why you ended up Vice Minister. However, the good times didn't last forever. In the months and years after its founding, people slowly caught on to the Medical Institute's total lack of output. And with the country in a recession, they started zeroing in on the Institute's funding. The vast amounts of money being poured into supporting it seemed like nothing more than a waste. Before long, closing the Institute outright didn't seem out of the question. Plans were even set in motion to redevelop the land once it was gone. Rumor had it that Minister Kazumi had actually approved those plans internally. Hmm. Are all your arguments going to be based on hearsay? Speaking of hearsay, Kamurocho's been buzzing with talk of this murderer who gouges people's eyes out. That killer is an assassin I've termed the Mole. But the truth of it is, those murders are the result of human experiments for 89, carried out in a secret lab in the heart of the city. This is all purely gossip. Members of the jury, 89's development is about to enter the clinical trial phase. However, ADDC researchers have already carried out clinical trials behind closed doors. Several people have died as a result. What? Of course, they tried to keep that a secret, but it eventually found its way out. And I have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at this. <sighs> the victim in this case, Shintani-sensei, was inching ever closer to the truth. That's why he called the ADDC. Isn't that right, Ichinose-san? Please elaborate to the jury what exactly you mean by that. Not long before his death, Shintani-sensei was told a secret by Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family. A secret that led him right to the ADDC. This secret was that someone from the ADDC was connected to the serial murders taking place in Kamurocho. And so, Shintani-sensei called the center and asked specifically for a researcher named Shono the man spearheading the 89 human experiments. Enough of this nonsense! Human experimentation, don't be ridiculous! What kind of trial is being run here? How can he say whatever he wants without a single piece of evidence? Why doesn't the prosecution stop him? Sorry, <laughs> I was enjoying hearing what he had to say. Have you lost your mind? Ichinose-san, I'm not finished with my line of questioning. 
Excuse me? Actually, it's more of a confirmation than a question. <sighs> Do you know who Shinpei Okubo is? Yes. He's the murderer you set free three years ago. I set him free, yes. But he's not a murderer. The one who actually killed Wakusan and Emi Terasawa was the same Shono I mentioned earlier. This garbage again? Don't act like you don't already know all of this. You're just not coming clean. Even though Okubo-kun's sitting on death row, waiting for the day they decide it's his turn. Enough! I was only asked here to explain to the jury about AD-9 and the ADDC. How dare you treat me like this? You and Shono hired the Mole to murder for you! That was the only way you'd have patience for your underground human experiments. And all to protect the interests of 89. You can't make these claims without proof! Show me your evidence! If you say so. What? Just the other day, someone reached out to me over in Kamurocho. They wanted to entrust me with a crucial piece of information. Hmm? Who are you? <sighs> what the... Captain Hamura? The hell are you doing here? Sorry sight, wasn't it? Huh? Matsugane's funeral. They had to go and use HQ's gigantic hall. Made it look like barely anyone even bothered to show up. Wish I could have gone and lit some incense. But if I did, Kuroiwa would have taken me out. Yeah? Then what are you doing here? Talk, you found Shono's lab, right? Good job. Those bastards never wanted to tell me where it was. Didn't think you could do it. Maybe. But Ichinose is covering the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Out of options, huh? I thought giving up wasn't your style. Here's the deal. I got something for you. What? Gotta settle accounts. What accounts? Never mind. But holding on to this does nothing for me. So, I want to help you out here. Just this once. For the boss, give him justice. If there was any justice, I'd have gotten shot. But the boss paid the price instead. Fucked up, yeah? None of this was his fault. I already lost my chance. You, on the other hand, still may have one. Hamura. This is it. You're the boss's only shot now. Put an end to this. Once and for all. I think you'll like what you find on here. This is decisive evidence. It'll nail Ichinose. Your Honor, I offer the data I received into evidence. Take a listen to this. Did you tell someone about Shono? That lawyer, Shintani. Word has it, he just called the ADDC. Well, uh, yeah, I might have said something, but it's fine. Shintani will keep quiet if I tell him to. How can you be so naive? This is unacceptable. 
You must deal with this Hamura-san. Immediately. Do what needs to be done. Have Kuroiwa-san handle the dirty details. It'll cost you another hundred mil. This mistake was yours, and yours alone. Don't anger me further. This Kuroiwa-san is a Kamuro PD detective. But when he's not out on his beat, he works as the Mole, an assassin for hire. In this call, you used Hamura to order Kuroiwa to murder Shintani-sensei. Hmm. <laughs> you should have known better, Ichinose-san. I imagine you must have been pretty panicked to use such an insecure method. Audio means nothing. Forging it is a simple task. You're framing me. So, you think that's not enough? That's right. Then what if I had a material witness who could attest to its validity? I'd say, bring them. Perfect. Just a minute. <clears throat> Not who you expected? <clears throat> Witness. Who is speaking in this recording? I'm one of them. The other is Vice Minister Ichinose here. Without a doubt. Yes. Order in the court. Izumida, where is the chief prosecutor? Is he aware of this farce? About that, sir. The chief prosecutor won't be joining us in court today. Or ever again. What? It turns out he's been abetting crimes for some time now. And so... We're charging him with abuse of power. Kido's up next. Right after my testimony. What? The doctor sides with whoever he thinks will win. And look at that. Guess he thinks you're on the losing side. Listen here. You pushed countless people down on your way to the top. Now it's your turn to fall, Ichinose. <clears throat> Kaito-san! Already going! What the hell is that about? Where's he going? Hoshiro-kun, it's all on you now. What? You've always wanted to handle a case on your own, right? Huh? Sorry to spring this on you, but good luck. Please, don't go! I know you can do it, Hoshiro-kun. It's time you graduate from the sidekick role, you know? But... Are you ready to proceed? <laughs> the defense is ready. Your Honor. Kaito-san. Got this asshole handing out orders over the phone. Orders? What did he say? He told his boys to eliminate the mole. They'd eliminate him? Wait. They're gonna kill Kuroiwa. Guess in the end, he's just a tool for them to, you know, dispose of. But we're done for if we let that happen. Yeah. He's gotta be over in Kamurocho. Come on, Sugira's pulling the car around now. Damn it. It's 
Yagami. I'm almost back in the city. Any idea where Kuroiwa is? Not yet. We're having trouble getting in touch with him. Oh, and... I'm not sure if this is related, but there's been a shooting in Theater Square. What? I wonder if Kuroi was involved somehow. guys don't seem like regular thugs. Guess these are ministry boys, huh? If they get in your way, don't hesitate to make them pay for it. Now don't stop till you get to Theater Square. I've been waiting for this. You deaf? He said stop! Gross. On a key. Come on, that ain't what I meant. Keep your head in the game, Kaito san. Now let's go. Let's finish this. <laughs> Yeah! 
Oh. How much you want to bet this is Kuroi was doing? before they could kill him. And where'd the bastard run off to? <laughs> hey. Sir, you can't just... Let's all just play nice, okay? Tell me, where did Kuroiwa go? <laughs> that bastard. He's on his way to the ADDC. What? <laughs> Probably gonna kill Shono. Revenge for getting targeted. He's gonna destroy AD9 and ruin every last person who supported it. <laughs> so all the assholes are gonna take each other out, huh? Not bad. No. If Shono dies, it's done. The whole case will end up going cold. And then we'll never be able to clear Okubo's name. Huh? So let's go. Emafuyu, can you send some officers to the ADDC? Shono's in danger. Get him somewhere safe. Man, this shit's a pain in the ass. Yeah. And keep an eye out for Kuroiwa. He's getting desperate. already here? What's going on? Where's Kuroiwa? Uh, 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 please, stop! It's okay, I'm a lawyer. Is Dr. Shono out of danger? Uh, we're not really sure of the situation ourselves. Didn't somebody tell you what's going on here? We've got orders coming in from all sides. I, I, I don't even know who's in charge here! Kuroiwa! You're Yagami, aren't you? Out of my way. Not so fast. We need to check your possessions. Lift your arms up, now! And why's that, officer? To protect Dr. Shono from thugs like you. Now do it! Kuroi was the one going for Shono. You can't let him get away with this! Why won't you listen to us? Kuroi was the one you want. He's got a gun. We're done here! Kaito-san. Kuroi was heading for the research wake. We can't let him reach Shono's lab. <clears throat> now let's go! <laughs> All right. If you say so! <laughs> Corner him! Looks like we're all getting arrested today, huh? Yagami-san, I'll see you in court! <laughs> Kuroi wa Come on, Tuck. We'll deal with him later. All right. Looks like there's only one way out of this, guys. Let's go!
happens to us. You go. Just get a move on already. Sugiura too. Talk. Give that son of a bitch what for. So you want to fight, huh? I don't have time for this bullshit! Stay down. That bastard. There's nothing he won't do. Damn it! The door's not opening. It's locked. Locked? Hmm. When I was here with Emichan. That's the research wing where they develop all our new drugs. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. We need a gold key card. Let's find one. Security system activated. Three minutes to full lockdown. For a gold one, right? Damn it. This one's not what we want. What the? Hey. Suspicious. Sorry, buddy. I need to borrow this for a bit. I found one. We can get through the gate. Look! On the Skyway! The is murdering them! We gotta put an end to this. Karoiwa! You okay, man? We're gonna need another way in. What about the underground parking lot? 
Same way we got in before. Good idea, Yagami-san. That'll get us into the hospital. We can get to the research wing from there. Especially now that we have the key card. That might work. Then we've got to try. We can't let Kuroiwa get away with this. Damn right. Good to see you again, Detective. You're, uh, Mashiko, right? Oh, shit. You again. Just keep throwing the short straw, huh? Don't give me your snark, punk. You're done for! Let's go, then! I don't know how long I can keep doing this, but we can't stop. Not now. Y Yagami-san, what's wrong? <sighs> Just a little dizzy. No surprise there. Are you okay, Yagami-san? You're a... Uh... You're kind of bleeding a lot. Don't know. I'm not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel just yet, though. <laughs> Maybe you're better than you look. Come on, let's go. This can't 
be happening? Is this some kind of sick joke? Who would do something like this? The cops will definitely think I did it. Nobody's gonna believe me. keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction, your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. Take us to the research room. not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Please, Yagami-san. You need to help Okubukun. And my brother, too. <laughs> He's stubborn, but he means well. Yagami-san, just now I, I heard Emmy talking to me. It felt too real to just be my imagination. Did you notice anything? I can tell you all about it later. We've got work to do. Huh? It's time we stop Kuroiwa once and for all. Right. Huh. Whatever that fog over you was, looks like it's cleared. Use the keycard. You know, the gold one. <laughs> 